Brandon Aaron here again today. We've got a new thing. We're going to continue with the everyday carry. Uh, we do have some requests to continue on in this area, so we will. Today I'm going to talk about one of the other types of weapons. So you have your bladed, your blunt force, your projectile, and the next one is your flexible weapons, okay? This includes anything from a towel to a belt to nunchucks, anything that's flexible in there. And then finally you have the compound weapons, which is, you know, a flexible weapon combined with a bladed weapon, like a comma or those type of things, okay? Uh, we're not gonna really get into those because those are really advanced. Today I'm gonna to just really talk to you about what you could do, what you find that you may not notice that you have around your house or you may have on you or anywhere within reach, okay? So today we'll talk about some of the first things. We've already spoken about me using the hat, okay? We're gonna talk quickly here about in the world you'll find a lot of people, you know, a lot of other countries, a lot of stuff where you have salat, India and everything where you may have like a sarong, okay? That's like part of their traditional wear, okay? Or you might be in Hawaii where the sarongs are wrapped around, okay? Uh, if you're in colder weather, you've got the scarf. Now, if you happen to be there, this is the time of year where this might be practical wear. Uh, just be careful about wrapping yourself, okay? So let's start with this because this is nice and easy. So there's three kinds of flexible weapons basically that you're gonna find. One is, where it's just material, there's nothing, even though this, these are very effective, especially if they have beads for catching the eyes, okay? There are ones where, for instance, like a belt, I'm not wearing a belt right now, that have, oops, I'm just pointing these off. Belt has a one-sided impact tool attached to it. So this is now sort of a, a compound weapon, okay? And then the third one we have, that we're just gonna use today as an example, is something that has a double-sided weapon, okay? One force on the double side, like a jump rope, okay? Uh, there are other sort of elements. This is where we're playing today, we sort of discover, discovered new things that we can do, so we'll show you a creative thing if you stay till the end. All right, so let's start talking right here, just with this first one. So the first thing, if I have this, uh, people are wearing it as a scarf, make sure that you can unwind quickly, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off. If I have a weapon here and it's got some length to it, I want to take whichever is my primary hand. So if I was going to throw or create a whip, the hand that would be doing the whip, my coordinated hand, is the one I want to wrap into. When I do this, I just don't want to wrap around my wrist, okay, in the back of my hand. When you're doing this, you want to create a tool with everything. So as I'm doing this, I want to go across the knuckles. Everybody that does hand wraps knows this, okay? So I could go across the front of your knuckles, you could start here, but sort of like right across the back side of the knuckles as it's slightly hanging over the knuckle, okay? Every grappler or every fighter has worn this, okay? And I want this tight, enough tension that I can open my hand and still pull this tight. Little suggestion, keep your fingers open. This later will allow it, if need be, for you to escape off it, okay? So again, tightening. Yeah, nice and tight so you can feel that tension. So if he's grabbing, okay, he may get a roll off, but I'm nice and grip. Even with my hand open, it's very hard for him to unwind because of that tactile tension, all right? So I'm winding it here. I want to get down to the end. Now, my choice on how I like this, I may wrap one or two here, but these are loose wraps. What I'm looking for is to be able to sit here and still reach the length of that arm. See, I'm here. So there's my punch, one of my shoulders extended, and I'm blocking my center line here. So now I have two essentially, paint on the material, okay, cushioned knuckles, these are boxing gloves now, so I'm being nice to the guy, or if this was a chain, you got brass knuckles, okay, the principle's the same. So today I'm gonna to talk about a couple things that you can do. The first one is, you guys have all snapped the belts, right? Okay, so he can come in and I can snap these away. This is good on deflection type stuff, okay? So if I'm here and I want to use this deflection, start punching, then I can use wraps, okay, pulls, and so on. So this first one, 
We're starting off, he's punching him, okay? Now, let's talk about a couple of wraps. First one here, snap. Boom, snap, okay? From the snap, that creates that tension. This one, I can go in here and do what we call entanglement, okay? So see that? So it comes in, boom, first one, entanglement. It means I'm not trying to wrap, but I'm going for my lock system, and just by here, being in the lock, he can try to pull out of that. It's now a compound lock. See how I've got that wrist wrapped, but I'm actually using the control here, and now I can do that. I can still let go and get that control nice and easy, okay? One more time, boom. If I use the top hand, this will end up being wrapped, all right? This is a really reinforced lock. I can take this out. I still have a partial wrap and we can create an into, uh, so sorry, entanglement here. Boom, here, entanglement. Second is your wraps. So he comes in here, I snap, then I wrap, all right? Now this here alone, I come in over. This is a very popular one. Come in, lock, drive to the ground, or just do whatever you want right now, okay? I can go for trips, everything there. Yes, sir. And I'm gonna let Aaron do this on me. I'm just taking you guys through, okay? So again, snap, wrap, wrap. all right? Keep that tension. If you need a second one, go for that, cool. okay? I go in, catch, there it is. I can pull this in, I can take throws, I can do all kinds of stuff. If I just want to uh, drag him out, I can literally do that right now, all right? Absolutely. Coming from here again. So from that wrap, the next one is once I've wrapped and I brought him in, I can then take and just take a single hand grab, okay? Now, if we wanted to get fancy, and he was reaching in towards me now, I can entangle the second one by doing so, if I have long enough a weapon. Now you're just getting very Kung Fu, so probably not gonna happen. Once I get here, this is just hockey style, okay? He's tied up with that arm, how are you gonna block that side? Okay. Now he's got a bomb sound, so he actually could, and he knows how to shoulder block. So, so that, that actually helps quite well. So, okay, if he goes and gets that bomb sound, you also have the button right here. But this basic idea right here is just pull them down. There's your uppercuts. You then also have this where I can rip it over top, twist. Okay. Other ways of doing the hockey stop. All right. So basics. One more time. And at the end, I'm going to show you a little trick. If you guys stay around the very end, watch for it. I'm going to show you a trick that you can do with your kids that they'll really like. Looks like you choke themselves out. It's kind of a Houdini move. All right? Stay there and watch the end. I'll give you the end points. So I wrapped yeah. until I can get to a point that I have a controller whip. Okay? With this type of stuff. I'm in. I get a nice soft wrap here. Something that I could slide loose. This one won't slide, okay? Again, just look at the basics. Snap, okay? Or just use a straight tension, okay? So you can pull this apart, move it this way. As you're going, you can come over and hit with strikes at the same time. There's the wrap, okay? Here's the entanglement. If I have another rope, here's the pull, there's the single grab right there. Okay? Pull yourself out of that. Cannot. Okay? Then we just go to town, guys. It's gonna work. <laughs> okay? That's what we do. So these are the basic principles. I'm gonna have this very new today, Harry. That's yeah. first time. So super cool. Grabbing the weapon. Yeah, right hand dominant, so I'm gonna start with that. Wrapping around here. Yeah. Open the palm, open the thumb as you start. So the first wrap, go in, close it off, get around on your second wrap, open your hand, and then start the tension. Feel it nice and tight. Okay, so you want to really wrap it tight. Okay, open your hand, feel like if I pull this, uh, oh, see how that's a little tight, loose? Yeah. So when he gets in here, you guys are wrap the hands, you want to keep your fingers open and you want to pull this. So then it's like tight, okay? Now, after that, okay, with a little tension, he can practice on getting that down. Yeah. And this is a smooth material, so it slides. Yeah. But this is the idea. Okay. He's, he, it's not going to be easy for me to pull up. Right. Okay? 
So you may have, you might have a one wrap there. Okay, now this one should be able to slide. So he's here, look at the measurement he did. Okay, measure it out to your punching. Okay, so you want to measure it from your backhand punch, so from your jab. Okay, so if he's looking here, pretty good, turn that angle, yeah. So he wants to be able to defend in front of his chin here. He can pull this back at any time to protect the side of his head if he had to go here, okay? Correct. But that's your full length range right okay. there on your jab. That doesn't mean standing here and going this way measuring. See how short that is? Yeah. Problem. I want my shoulder, pull the back shoulder back, get it right in front of your chin. There's the reach. He's got it perfectly right there. Yes, sir. Okay, so first one I'm coming in, he's going to use the snap. Okay, so he's snapped. All right, he wraps. He's got the wrap, you can take it over the head, pull it in, all right? Now, I mean, for the jiu-jitsu guy, this is like a dream, yes, sir. you know? And the magic is, see how his hands are right here, okay? So just on your loose one, yeah. pull that loose to pass it to your strong hand, okay? Right. Now he's got it here, okay? He can go unleashed or he can take, so I may be trying to get a weapon. Okay, so he can then monitor or entangle my back, my other arm. There we go. If he had to take me somewhere, this is a perfect come along situation, especially if you put that hand up on my shoulder. Oh, yeah. Okay, and yeah. I know Greg has a and, bad shoulder, so. And, <laughs> and he could grab the material, yeah. grab the actual, no, no, this one. Oh, sorry. So see, oh, yeah. now he's got a collar grab. This is just. And if he pushes his elbow towards me, oh, yeah. he's going to increase that lock. But he can walk me anywhere now. Oh, yeah. Okay? I'm coming with him. Really embarrassing. You can talk to the guy. Hey. Okay? <laughs> so if you happen to be wearing a sarong yeah. and somebody's bothering you, lock him up like this. Oh, yeah. So let's talk about this again. Cool. Right? And this is really fun stuff. It's really fancy. You definitely need to practice quite a bit to be able to coordinate. And this will be the last of the weapons for you to master. Okay? So good, he's got it nice and tight. You can feel right? the difference when you open your hand up. That's really important, guys. I can't stress enough. And you want the fingers open because yeah. later, I want to be able to release if necessary and you switch. You kind of feel the circulation kind of in your hand a little bit. Exactly. That's kind of the key with that. So you want to make sure it's that taut. Get a and circulation you know, pump into your hand. Good. Yes. Okay, cool. So this time, you hit, and I'm going to turn it here. All right, so this time I'm throwing that right here. Okay, now this time, the top hand goes in, goes here, and the other hand catches. Ah. See how he's got that? Yeah. And now he can just, again, he can pass and grab the material, or he can just step in and go for the takedown. So you can just step back, take me down, yeah. right down. Oh, yeah. Okay? Really by control. Very, very, very effective type of techniques, okay? Yeah. So one, again, let's bring it around this side, so I'm coming at him, so you can see nice and easy. If I'm coming in, boom, whichever side. So he got that. That's the first See, one. you know, it should make sense. The first one. Okay. If you can pass and grab, trap with a single hand, yeah. then you got your punching hand. I love okay. It. Yeah. You got anything you can do. This hand now here, which is a really deadly one, is if he goes around for a rear choke, okay, go choke wow. all the way across, keeps that arm in, and now lets go and goes for closes the circuit as a rear naked. Oh, yeah. So let go of the other hand. Okay. Now I've got a hand in. Okay. This is a pretty embarrassing choke. When squeezed properly, it can also affect my elbow quite a bit. Okay. So he's got me. This is really good if he had to walk me out of somewhere and take me out. Okay. So you can play with ideas.